Hey YouTube, ready for a fish room tour? Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, it's Brian and I'm coming at you with a fish room tour for uh, September 2017. And we're just going to start off upstairs here in the office and uh, check out Cheeto. He's my Amphilophus citronellus, or aka Midas cichlid. And I don't think my last video showed this, but as you can see, he's got a couple of girlfriends in here now. Um, nothing has really happened much as far as any bonding goes or anything like that, but he does seem to be kind of interested in this one. I got these guys from Matt Hand, so a shout out to Matt for uh, hooking me up with these guys. That was awesome. Or these girls, I should say. And um, we're hoping to, to breed Cheeto at some point here, but if he doesn't, you know, oh well. The, the intention when I got him wasn't to breed him. You know, he was fully grown and just a nice show fish. And uh, regardless, this guy is just a great addition to my fish room. and. You know, but if I could uh, breed them and uh, get some fry out there to the community, that would be pretty cool. Uh, the loaches in here are all doing real good. Um, the uh, biker over here is doing good. Here's a close-up of one of the females. Here's a close-up of the other one. Um, he seems to take and like to chase her around a little bit more than this one. Since I put them in here, there's been some digging and stuff like that. So. Um, you know, there's possibilities that things will work out, but, uh, you know, for the time being, we'll just wait and see. Uh, this 90 gallon behind us here is in the same condition as uh, the last, probably, I don't know how many videos. When I do get some time, uh, now that fall's coming, I'll have a little bit more time, but I'm going to rescape this. And uh, I did add, as you can see over here, some Cardinal Tetras, about 30 of them. I'm just going to do a new scape. I've got something in mind. Um, I've got enough of these Oiko stones in here that I'm going to use them again, and I've got a bunch extra downstairs, and I'll, uh, I've got a scape in my mind that I'm going to come up with and uh, put it together, and then we'll just kind of let it do its thing. Um, you'll see that down the road, hopefully but not before too long, but just been a busy summer, um, hanging out a lot at our cabin and stuff like that, but that season's about to end. So I'll have a lot more time for fish related stuff here as, uh, as we go into fall and then winter. So let's uh, take you downstairs and uh, we'll show you what's going on down there. All right, so we're down here in the basement and uh, we'll take a look at uh, my uh, confa here. Uh, this is, uh, for those that you aren't familiar with flower horns, this is a 9.9. .9 King Kampha. I've had him for a while now. Got him from a good buddy, Mike Mann, here a year or so ago at least now. The guy's got some awesome patterns on his nuchal hump here and just throughout his body. Really good fish. Um, you know, his coloration's really nice, and a lot of people I know that are. I'm not completely into flower horns, and I'm not going to say that I know how to groom them, and definitely don't haven't bred them but I've uh, seen a lot of people um, using like this special flower horn different types of food and stuff like that and there's all sorts of foods around but I'll just tell you guys I've just been feeding him um, Southern Delight large cichlid and before uh, as he was a little smaller I was feeding him the Southern Delight power feed and I mean he's just looking great and uh, obviously genetics play into the play into it too um, but, uh, you know, I can't, uh, can't argue with the results there. Feed all my fish Southern Delight. And for those of you that don't know, um, I recently um, started selling it. I sell it in bulk. I've got all these bins here that are um, full of uh, the one pound bags and, and I sell it. So if you're interested in trying Southern Delight or buying it in bulk, um, let me know. I've got a few bottles on hand that I can sell too if you're, if you're looking. Um, to try it uh, in a smaller amount first we can do that too but um, 
yeah um, and I, I want to also thank everybody I've been doing it for about a month maybe a month and a half now I'm not quite sure and it's been it's been going really well a lot of people have been buying it and I just want to thank you guys out there you know people from my that subscribe to my YouTube YouTube channel buy it people that are on some of the different Facebook fish groups are buying it and uh, I just uh, it's really nice to you know I <clears throat> I, I took it on because Mike and Conway, you know, a while back decided they wanted to get out of it because they're both, you know, had a lot of other things in life going. And I didn't want to see this food go away in the bulk form because I believed in it so much. And uh, so I decided I would give it a shot. And it's been really, really refreshing and nice to see the people really are supporting, supporting me and supporting the food. And, uh, Everybody's seeing great results with it. Uh, a lot of people have tried it for their first time since I've been selling it, and and I've had nothing but compliments on uh, on the food. So anyway, not to plug away too much there, but I wanted to to talk about that quickly. You know, down below here then is the uh, the other Midas that's uh, Cheeto's brother, and then the females in there too. They're both doing real good, getting along just great, but. No interest in each other as far as uh, you know pairing up and mating that type of thing so at some point I might put one of those or both of those females that I showed you guys upstairs into this tank if nothing ends up going on up there or if Cheeto pairs off with one of those females I'll, I'll pull the other one out and bring them down bring her down here and see what happens right here is the Moto Grow Out tank and not long before I shot this video I noticed that this uh, dominant one had killed one of the smaller ones and there he is picking away at it down there so instead of three now we've got two there's another smaller one in here somewhere but I'm sure it's hiding oh I can see it right back there on top of the sponge filter you can see the reflection then there's this one though is just turned into well now he's gonna be a scaredy pants but turned into quite the beast so it's gonna be fun to see what I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a male but see what uh, what he turns out to be like there's one more of these over here in the reddest latest tank that I just for the life of me haven't been able to net out I netted those three out of here but this one just gets away from me all the time so um, we'll go ahead and show you the latest right now they, I can't remember if I talked about it in the last video, but they spawned, they've spawned twice now in the last couple of months. Once um, they ate the eggs, I can't remember the order. One time they ate the eggs, the other time it made, they made it to just to the point where the wigglers were kind of starting to try to free swim. And then the next day I came down and they were not found anywhere in the tank. Females hiding out right now. <clears throat> Uh, let's see, she's got a couple hiding spots. One of them's in this tube. And uh, he's been kind of pressuring her, I guess, to, to spawn again, and he's pretty aggressive. So um, we we'll probably won't see her in this video. Maybe if I put in some food, she'll come out. Let's try that. I'm trying to do this one-handed here. Not to talk about the food again, but I feed these guys Southern Delight Large Cichlid also. Just put a little bit in. He's all more concerned about me. Um, he's really become, since the last spawn, he's really become really aggressive to, 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 uh, to me outside of the tank uh, compared to what he was before. Um, so that's interesting, but uh, I guess she's not going to come out. And the way that tube has kind of moved, um, can't even get the camera in there. No, I can't. And you can see her tail on the back side of the tube, but anyway. Hadiensis pair number one. Got some fry in there still. I pulled some out. Uh, female. I can't find her right now. She's probably in one of these tubes. 
but they've kind of been showing spawning behavior again, so I wouldn't be surprised. I'm gonna try to pull the rest of these out here soon before they kill them off. Oh, there she is. But this guy. <laughs> you know, a lot of people have been asking me if I want to get rid of one of my pairs. I kind of do, but I just could, I could never decide which one to get rid of because they're both super cool in one way or another, especially when, you, when it comes to the males. So I, I just don't know. Right now I'm having fun with both of them. So we'll go over and talk about the other pair. Pull up a chair here. <clears throat> They've got a bunch of fry in here too. This pair had a much bigger spawn. There's still probably 50 plus fry in here and I pulled about that many. Ooh, she's got a little damage on her right now. I don't know if she hit something or if he's being rough with her. But she's usually just completely black. Orion over here is getting mad that I'm sitting here, and I'll show you him in a second. But this guy, he's got an attitude on him too, but he's a lot different looking than the other one as far as the shade. The other one's got more white, this is more yellowish. Their tail fins look quite a bit different. And uh, I just, I don't know, I, at this point I just can't get rid of a pair. I've had people offer me a bunch of money, and I, I've just turned them down, you know. haven't been really, really liking having them. I guess is what I'm trying to say. So anyway, I'm trying to grow out some of these to make them available. It'll be a while obviously, but um, I've got uh, some tanks over in the fry rack uh, with some fry in them from both pairs. And then here's Mr. Smarty Pants Orion. You can see him and his female Artemis have a big clutch of fry, probably 500 more or more. I'll pull some of, last time they pulled, they ate them within a couple days or a week. I'm gonna try to pull some this time and maybe grow some out. People ask me almost every day, hey, you got any grow outs from this pair? And uh, I typically don't, um, but we'll try to change that. They hadn't spawned in quite a while. And, uh, you know, honestly, it was because I had the heaters off all summer to keep it cool down here. Because you wouldn't believe with this many tanks how hot this basement would get. But anyway, I turned the heaters back on in this tank and a couple others, and, and we're getting a lot of boom chicka wow wow going on. As you can see, up in the Elmi tank, they got a brand new clutch of fry too. They haven't, they haven't spawned since like February. There's Optimus <clears throat> and Matrix. So it's been fun all of a sudden having fry from these two pairs again. Haven't seen that happen in quite a while. Bunch of them here. These are quite a bit newer than the ones down below in the um, or in the Dovi tank. Um, these became free swimmers I think just two days ago. So that tells you how new they are. They're pretty small. That's really about it. Oh, we haven't talked about this flower horn. Um, something else I do feed to the flower horns once in a while. It's a Southern Delight color, but not, not very regularly, just this little supplement. This is the red magma. Um, he's doing fine too. Not a whole lot to report on him. He likes to follow my fingers around, but he doesn't get too aggressive. He just kind of does his thing. Cool little shrimp figures. <laughs> but anyway, that's really about all I got. I'll do a separate shrimp update. This tank, along with that tank. And that tank and that tank are all pretty much empty. There's a pleco in each one of them. And the tank, the lower tank down there actually does have uh, a rogue umbi that uh, has been in there for, I don't know, six months or more. He's just kind of doing his own thing. He hasn't been growing too fast because I don't always feed that tank and I don't do a lot of water changes on it or, or as regular as the Hadiensis. Rollouts, or 
Fry, I should say, in those three tanks. But yeah, um, that's about it for right now. Um, show you this guy one more time as we close out the video. Um, so like I said earlier, if you are interested in purchasing some Southern Delight, email me. My email address will be below in the comments, or you can go to the Aquatic Support Systems Facebook page. Even if you aren't going to order, um, I would appreciate it if you would go like that page if you haven't already. It would be really cool. Come check out Aquatic Support Community. It's a really good Facebook group. I also put postings in there about Southern Delight, and it's just a great group of people that are into the fish keeping hobby. Um, and thanks to everybody that subscribes and watches these videos. Um, playing around down in the corner. Um, I really appreciate you guys too. If you're new to this channel, make sure that you do subscribe. Um, I do regular updates on all my fish tanks, um, including my shrimp tanks and my saltwater tanks. So um, check that out. Uh, hopefully you'll enjoy my channel. If you're new, welcome. If your uh, subscriber has been here for a while, thanks a lot as always, and we'll continue to talk to you. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Talk to you later.